Hey everyone, uh, so this video is gonna be about uh, animated design battle between Envision Studio, a brand new contender to all the prototyping tools and Principal App, which has been in the market for quite a while. And it's been a go-to uh, design tool for, you know, making funky animations, micro interactions, things of that nature. So today I wanted to show you what's exactly there and how these things compare making like a really simple animation and trying to design just two couple of screens and animating micro interactions in between them so i have two screens designed in sketch uh, these are based on one of the three mockups i found on the internet just for the sake of saving up the time and as you can see it's uh, a state and b state so they're just two simple states meaning if let's say a user would click or tap on the plane icon and we're happy with a trip it would then animate every single object in the second one and kind of like in between we would capture that micro interaction transition and you would try to keep the names in the exactly same convention so for example if almost their headline has to transition and become a smaller one next to the arrow it has to have the same name so as you can see in my layers list i have almost and the ready to take a seat is also almost however now the interpretory tools like principal app for example it would just take and transform the text automatically so i might create a couple of videos of how to you know interact with principal and how to learn it in like i don't know five minutes you can get the gist of it a basic example here is we would import actual mockups from sketch to principal quite easily and then we would say, let's say once you tap that little plane, it would open a second state and a preview in principle would look like that. So you see, it, it has a little bit of a glitch here and there, but, but you know, the gist of it, it still works. So as you can see that almost there, because the naming convention is the same from one mockup to the other, animates. As you can see, we have the tabs, we have the number, we have a button. If, if you notice, once once we tap the plane icon, the button is expanding and bouncing in. Same as for other things which are either animating in because they're invisible in the first mockup, or they're like just adjusting because we still had the same convention. And this is kind of like I can I, I have to emphasize it a lot because I think that's the only thing what makes principle really easy to do because for example this almost there as you can see it's almost there three dots naming for that text string the same is on the second mockup let me just take that out it's also almost there and that's why it animates and it, it's done automatically so let's say if I would add another object where uh, let's say like a really red box for whatever reason let's say if if we need to add a, a, a bar or something to display more information let's pick a bit nicer color so we don't throw up let's say let's maybe pick the shape from a mock-up itself and it's easy we don't need no stroke okay i think there is none let's zoom in into that so let's say if a toolbar Maybe let's put it somewhere else. I don't know where, where to put it, but maybe let's say for whatever reason we would have it in the bottom here and maybe it's something like, I don't know, like a sign up block or something like that. You know, for whatever reason, maybe in the app, this is where you would create your account. You have a block in this and let's copy that into a different artboard which is artboard b and you know it doesn't look great but it doesn't have to for the sake of of the thing right and, and let's imagine that in this mock-up it's just a huge bar it, let's make that bar like this maybe um again it's not ideal but it's gonna give you an idea of how it works so you see in 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 a in artboard a in this one we have the background is called sign up lock, which is small. In the next one, it's a bit bigger height wise. And now what principle is gonna do automatically, it didn't even do anything. 
it's just gonna animate on its own. And uh, just to show you an example, if we go back, let's make this bigger. You see you have a mock-up, let's say you just land as a user on this page, you wanna check out, and perhaps that's where you know a sign-up prompt would come in. They would tap on a, let's say, icon like this, and boom, you see the, the actual purple thing animated height-wise up? So that's what principle does. As long as you have two different states with the same name across the art bars, it's automatically gonna animate. And all you have to do is to open a timeline view down below, find it, uh, sign up block here, it's on top, and just say, okay, let's make it snap just before the button appears. So it doesn't look so weird. And maybe also do the I twice maybe animate throughout like like that maybe and let's say hmm maybe let's do a spring release attention slightly maybe like that and let's see what we have boom you see it's a bit much more fluid and springy and that's 90% of the principal app now what they want to do is go straight into envision uh, studio and see if this can be replicated as easily. So I'm gonna try to import two different sketch files here, these. Uh, I named every element in them the same way. In that case, it's not gonna be any confusion, it's gonna be easier to compare and animate, as long as it works like principle. So let's say open a studio sketch file. Let's see if we can pinpoint a location. Principal versus Studio Archive, files for students. Final two screens. Okay. Boom. So you see there was an issue importing the same files. I guess blurs are not supported, X, Y, Z. Okay, that's fine. Well, I guess there is a lot of things missing. Um, what is missing is the backgrounds, which is, I guess maybe because of applied blur and sketch, it was ignored, but the same is for the buttons. So the buttons are also are invisible for some reason. Not sure why, but let's ignore that. Let's just see if it actually animates for now, because I don't really want it to recreate everything. I see that there is some shape issues here as well importing. Uh, same for the text. I hope that I can, okay, I can edit it at least, which principle wouldn't allow. But as you can see, there is a lot of different mixed things. I guess if you really want to rely on, um, on Envision Studio, you kind of need to design a screen inside Envision Studio. So that's, that's quite interesting. But let's see what happens if, let's say, a user clicks on that same thing. Motion. Save. I guess we can adjust the timeline a bit later. But just a preview. Would it actually out of the box animate it just like principal does? Would it load? Okay, it loads. Um, or does it? Okay, it, it did load, but it has some... Um, it takes a bit of a while, I guess it's a bit complicated. Oh, is it loaded? Let's attempt. Hmm. Because if you if you remember from my kind of like unboxing video of Envision Studio, it seemed quite all right, uh, but it was quite basic animations and the objects were designed inside Envision Studio. So it's a bit difficult to gauge it right now. But I think because there are issues of sketch import, 
and perhaps the structure of the files is way too complex for Envision Studio to handle. I'm not really sure, but it doesn't really allow to do much. Let's see if arrow bolt back motion. Right, let's do some motion. Well, does it work? Uh, okay, it doesn't. Right, so this is probably gonna be a sum up for this video. Um, I thought it would be better, to be honest. I thought it would, would, wouldn't would actually be so... Okay, now it animated as I refreshed manually. But as you can see, the animation is just awful. I wonder if it has anything to do with early version of the thing. Okay, does arrow work? It does, but yeah, it, it, it's lagging. Okay, so I guess this is this comes with a caveat. If for like, I don't know if we're gonna update this or what's what's the case here. Maybe you must design everything in Envision Studio for it to work well, which I'm probably gonna cover in a bit, maybe in the next video or so. But what I what is obvious is that. Um, you can't really import sketch files, especially like quite complex, even if you could debate that it's a bit of a medium fidelity, they're not like, you know, crafted, they don't have any special effects. And out of a bat, it just gave me an, an error, which said that you can't import sketch blurs and stuff. And then it kind of destroyed the mockups altogether, because if you remember what its principle did, it just kept, kept it exactly as, as is in a sketch. Um, with no alterations apart from rasterizing text, which becomes as part of a using principle. But Envision Studio actually destroyed most of the elements, at least these shapes, which is kind of like it's a vector based illustration, as you can see, had a lot of webbing around. Then we have some text too here, and you can see there is some sort of webbing some rendering issues too, so I guess the text is rendered a bit sketchy. Again, it's early access, so I don't know if it's, this is gonna persist, but it's like I wouldn't really rely yet to replace principle if you use it daily to do that in Envision, or perhaps if you do, try to design it from scratch and try to test it out. Um, because as, as you can see, of as of April 1st, and it's not April Fool's, um, the Envision Studio is underperforming compared to principle. Did you like this video? If so, give a like, subscribe, or share with your friends. Show some love.